Yo, what do you do guys? It is your boy, Leon Mookie here, and today is the day. Today is the very first chapter of the Gundam Strike Force. This, this is the Gundam series that I'm going to work on for the time being, so I can practice for a future Gundam series that I want to actually fully work on. And not only that, if you guys were curious or wondering why I created that of uh, four trailers for that of gun for that of Gundams after all. Well, like I said, each care each of those trailers are basically the main characters for this series. And don't worry, I am aware that this series is not going to give me a lot of views and I'm not going to get a lot of traction for it. This is just for me to relax, have some fun, and also to improve my writing skills on making not just one or two protagonists, but four protagonists. Because, if I'm going to be completely and utterly honest, I love the Gundam series, but they do not do well with multiple protagonists. Because one ends up getting more screen time than the other. After all, Wing, Destiny, and Double O kinda shafted a lot of its main cast for either that of one or two of the protagonists in the group after all. So, yeah. Hell, the ones that actually did do well with basically having screen light, spotlight on that of multiple protagonists being that of, well, dub, that of the build series, well, mainly the first one, to be honest, with Say and Reiji. As for Try, well, let's, let's not talk about that. Even though it's a great series, let's just say the three protagonists don't really work well together. And I know that sounds controversial, but... They work well as a team and as friends, but on that of a story narrative point of view, not so much. The only outlier is that of the of age. And I love age, don't get me wrong, but it was really, seriously, the series was literally made out for kids after all. And it did do well with making each of the three protagonists basically important to each character's story, narrative, and conclusions to the end of their story. But again, the downside is because, again, they made it out for kids after all. But besides, that's beside the point. Enough of me ranting and the reason why I want to do this. Let's get straight into this, shall we guys? Chapter 1, Nexus to Seed. In Gunpla Battle Nexus, or GBN as it's called, the most popular Gunpla Battle system in the world. Originally, it was, it had a lot of criticism and a lot of people didn't respect it that much, especially old time fans of Gunpla Battle who used that as a dual system instead. But as the years go by, Gump Nexus has become quite popular, even with a lot of its troubles. With that of break, with break details, the realization that Nexus is creating new life forms such as the L Divers, that Nexus was connected to that of an, to an alien world, and so much, so much more. But even so, the love for Gunpla and Gundam as a whole never died down. Instead, it's basically united the people of those around the world who love Gunpla even more. And where this, and where Nexus is basically the home of many great teams, such as that of the two Build Diver teams. Avalon, the Seventh Division, and the Hakainu, and many, many more. However, there's also one team. One team that has basically been rising in the ranks of Nexus. As this team was nothing but a team of four before it became a full-on company. This team was known is now known as the Gundam Strike Force. An entire team of Gumpa fans who only love the Strike Force. Gundam and its very and its multiple variations throughout the series as the team grew and grew and grew as its four primary members now growing to that of six main main members of the team the team's leader and captain of its four strongest members Elijah Kotone or his diver name just Elijah a half American half Japanese boy Elijah joined GBN mainly just for fun and just to relax from time to time when he didn't have to have that of school, after school activities and everything like that. 
blood. However, when he became the captain of the, Gun of the Gundam Strike Force, well, things changed. His entire life revolved around GBN and his friends, after all, helped build the team to reach the level that it is today. Well, not by himself at that. The second primary member of the Gundam Strike Force, Gao Ming, diver name Guy, a Korean boy who, well, spends his life living in the world of Gunpla. Not only that, he's a huge fan of bodybuilders, to be honest. It's the reason on why his avatar is basically a over-muscular teenage kid after all. What drew him to GBN is because mainly all of his friends, even to his family, were actually into that of Gunpla Battle Nexus, as they only just did it just to, well, relax and have fun. But to Guy, Nexus was everything. It was the one place where he can basically go all out, not just, well, looking like the person that he always dreamt of being in real life, but is also being able to go all out using his own Gunpla as well. To Guy, he always thought that the Strike Gundam was always one of the best customizable Gundams of all in the entire franchise. So why not make a, Gun a Strike Gundam that basically destroys everything? Because of that, he basically saw the Strike Force as his own, as basically a second family, even if, even if the kid doesn't like to admit it himself. The third original member of the Strike Force, Connor Tate. Diver name, just Connor, that's all. Connor's always loved Gundam too. Hell, if anything, he likes the me he basically loves the mecha series as a whole. It's just that Gundam basically draws him more into me into that of mecha anime of all time. It's how he sees it. Personally, Connor is a builder, but not basically a casual builder. He does make custom models from time to time, but mainly models that he knows that he can basically fix up himself. The only time when he feels ambitious is when he's working on that of customizable Strike Gundams. Any other model, he doesn't really have that much passion. It's the Strike that gives him the passion that he needs, especially the best transformational Strike Gundam being the Akatsuki. When he came to GBN, Originally, he was part of the Simmer team, actually, a team that mainly focused not just on Gunpla Battles, but just, well, creating, creating that of Gunpla Battles to show off to the world, after all. But when he found out about the Strike Force, he had to leave his old team of, well, builders and join a team that understand his love for the Strike. And the last original member of the Strike Force being Takami Ishida, diver named Takami. You would think that Takami would possibly be the last member. However, little did anybody know, Takami is actually the founder of the Strike Force. Originally known as the solo player or the double well striker, as many people know him, basically always plays solo, takes on that of certain battle raids around, G around GBN and then basically diffs off without even saying anything else. He's a lone wolf due to his upbringing after all, living in Japan and being, being a mix of African American and Japanese, he gets a lot of bully quite a bit and it also blended into his GBN battles by keeping his head down and not being close to anyone until the day he met Elijah, who genuinely wanted to be his friend actually and build a team where people like them who enjoyed the Strike Gundams and in all of its variants could be together under one unit. Where Takumi was originally supposed to be the leader, he gave the position to Elijah, who actually had the charisma, leadership, talent, and skill to be the team's leader, where Takumi would be the second in command and the strongest member of the entire Strike Force as a whole. With that, their numbers grew and grew and grew to the point that they have now have a have that of a membership of 50 members people who have their own custom strikes those who basically have that of street builds of strike gundams while some just well wanted to join wanted to join the strike force because they love the strike as a whole and how popular they have gotten over the over the two years of gbn 
Due to this, the strike force continues to grow in popularity until one certain incident that changed everything. Not just for them, but also GBN as a whole. After finishing the missions that, would, that led to the strike force gaining six best in the entire world of GBN, soon Elijah and that of their HQ, which surprisingly is that of custom made Norman, Normandy SR2 from the Mass Effect series. It was a limited edition base that GBN allowed, to, allowed people to op to get. Surprisingly, the Strike Force was the ones who got the last base after all. It, but many members decided to pitch in to help out, after, to be honest. So, not every, so basically it was worth all the credits with now Elijah, alongside that of Connor, Guy, and Takumi, all in front of all of their members in the met and out of the common room of the Normandy, with Elijah clearing his throat saying, Everybody, today is a tremendous occasion. Today, the Gundam Strike Force, the team that was known as full of only fans who cared more about the Strike Gundam, has now rise from that of the top from that of being the top 10 strongest to now being the sixth strongest in all of GBN. And with all your hard work, we've made it this far. So I want to say thank you all for all your hard work. And I hope you all continue to support the team as long as you continue to love GBN. With then soon, every, all, everybody in the crowd begins to cheer excitedly with two members in front in the very front basically cut up a smile a red-haired girl wearing that of a shrine maiden in attire. As she has that of amber eyes, couldn't help but smile and that of happiness. A kid that looks like he's at least 12 or 13 years old with that of, well, light, with that of lightish brown hair, a green jacket, green shorts, and wearing that of a black tank top under it. With him also having that of green eyes that couldn't help but, sm couldn't help but smile as well. With a few other, few other of the members that stand out quite a bit. One of the members being a female with that of spiky blonde hair wearing that of an Earth Alliance military uniform. However, what stands out the most is she having that of, well, a wide bus after all. And she looks like she's also ex happy for everybody. A tall, a tall dude with that of pale skin and black hair with that of one eye being red while the other one being blue as he wears that of a white, whitish, blackish cloak as he wears that of tactical armor under the, under the cloak though as he doesn't look like he's smiling but you could see that on the left side of the corner of his mouth he actually is smirking. Not only that, and last but not least, that of a little girl where as she has that of uh, blue, a blue hair tied into that of a ponytail with a bit of strand, bane strands coming out of the front of her hair, with her wearing that of a blue pilot's uniform that shows off quite a bit of her curves for somebody that looks like she's at least that of uh, 14 to 15 years old, as she couldn't help but also basically scream in excitement alongside everybody else at the words of their captain and leader of their team as the celebration party basically is starting to come down with a few of the members they already well locking out of nexus going off to do their own thing or just well hanging around with the four primary members currently on that of the bridge of the Nor of their base of the normandy with elijah saying <laughs> we've come this far after two years Two years of basically making a team like this. If anything, I didn't even think it would be possible. With then guys saying, well, believe it. it. We made it possible. Well, more like you and Takumi made it possible. With Takumi not saying anything. While op uh, glancing at Guy, not even saying anything. As originally, when Guy basically joined the team at first, he was always annoyed with Takumi for not saying anything or basically insulting him or anything like that. But after the after basically two years of being together, it's basically just his thing. And the two became pretty close friends since then. 
with Ben Connor Sink. I have to say, that's true. We wouldn't be here if you two didn't build the team first. Then everybody else showing up. One by one, we, ga we gathered so many people and so many members over the years. If anything, this is our home. Our home away from home, if I had to say. With Elijah couldn't help but smile saying, yeah, I guess so. With then soon, the elevator doors open up, seeing that's of Hinoka and Rain, alongside that's of the young, of the spiky blonde haired girl. With then soon, Elijah saying, hey, Hinoka, Rain, Jesse, hey, with then soon, Hinoka saying, Captain, uh, Commanders. With then Connor saying, what are the three of you doing up here? Why not with everybody else down the party? With then just saying, well, isn't it obvious? It's because our leaders are up here instead of enjoying themselves down there with everybody else. With a few, with then Elijah, looks like Connor couldn't help but scratch the back of his head. With then Guy saying, uh, well, you know, we, didn't, we want everybody to enjoy themselves too. With Takumi saying, I didn't want, I just didn't want to go down there. Simple as that. With everybody having to have a swept drop looking at the white haired, brown skinned young man. With then soon, Hyunoka speaking up saying, plus, let's also, it's starting, the party's starting to go down as well. Everybody's plant is leaving and heading off to do their own thing or leaving, ne or leaving Nexus as a whole for now, for tonight. Or the morning or evening, I should say. Time zones are always so weird for here in Nexus, even though it's supposed to be, well, easy for everybody to understand. With then Takumi speaking up saying, so what brings the three of you up here? With then Rain saying, actually, something that just came up actually. I just found it through that of the bases, well, inbox system. With then soon, all, all four of them couldn't help but be perked up. But then Elijah going to hit Going to that of the bridges, well, messaging board. With then soon, he looks through that of the logs between that of well, crewmates and also their do and the duties that they've done for the team and everything. With then soon, looking at a certain a certain well message log, saying, "To those of the Gundam Strike Force, you have done well to reach this far. Today, GBN is." Cause is creating that of a new event only selected for those of the top 10 best of the best in that of all of Nexus. Currently, right now, a few teams have already taken part in this event. Some have already cleared them, while some are still going through them as we speak. This is a once in a lifetime event for the top 10 best of the best. With, will you take it? With, then, soon, hearing, hearing the words from Elijah, with then guy saying, what are, you, what are you just waiting for there, Captain? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! With then soon, Takumi basically slapping Guy upside the head. With then saying, what the hell was that for? Saying, for being a dumbass. And for being impatient as hell. We won't be doing it unless the Captain says so. Right, Elijah? As Takumi asks Captain this, Elijah basically begins thinking with his eyes closed while crossing his arms. With then soon, Connor saying, we'll be okay with anything if you want, Captain. You don't have to take the event. We would all totally understand with then soon. Elijah saying, we'll take it. With then, everybody is complete, is actually, well, shocked. Well, not entirely shocked, but surprised that Elijah just takes it off, off the bat, saying, I mean, don't worry. We're not going to just take on the event all willy-nilly. Let's prepare. I mean, sure, it's me. Many of our members have already left and probably already doing their own thing or probably, well, logged out of Nexus are already as well. But maybe we can call on those who aren't too busy and are willing to help out. With then soon, all, all of them couldn't help but, well, nod at that. Even that of Takumi who just smirked and also nodded as well. With then soon calling in that of a few members and calling in the lesser members too, hoping that they're willing to help out. Seeing that some have already logged out, while some are basically doing their own thing. One of them being that of the long, 
of that of the cloaked individual who, are, who was part of the strike force as well, as he's current, as he's about to take on that of a Gundam party raid, actually. But then getting a message from Takumi saying, uh, Vice Captain, uh, well, you see, I would love to take part. However, I'm currently involved in a raid to hope to increase the ranking of, of our great team. As he's about to continue with then Takumi saying, E2, calm yourself. No need to feel so overwhelmed. I'm just asking, that's all. It's like, uh, I see. Once again, I'm truly sorry, Vice Captain. With then Sue saying, it's all right, it's all right. Take care of the, take care of the raid. And if you got time, come back as soon as you can. How long do you think it's gonna last? I'm, well, I'm with that of five others. A few of them from other, well, teams as well. It seemed we we're planning on taking down that of the Gallahorn forces from Iron Blood Orphans. Saying, wait, you mean that of the rebellion, re the rebellion raid? Ugh, seriously, that's going to take you at least out of a good hour or so. We'll probably be done by, we'll probably be done, done with the event by then. Saying, I see. Uh, well, don't worry about it. Just give them hell and show them what the strike force is all about. With then hearing those words, saying, of course, I will, Captain. With then the com the message soon ended, with then everybody looking at him, looking back at E2, saying, the hell are you all staring at for? Are we not going to have a strategy or else? With then, soon many of them couldn't help but be shocked, surprised, and terrified, saying, uh, yes. With then, as the man known as the player known as E2 is a lone wolf player just like Takumi. However, E2 admires Takumi. Currently right now, in that of the real world, in that of Sendai, within Elijah saying, come on sis, help me out, help us out here. Saying, look, the event just began, right? We got time. Why not just start until tomorrow? We want to get a better feel for it today. At least after we're done with it, we can log ourselves out. With then saying, Ugh, there you go again, going all captain, saying, hey, last time I checked, you were pretty hype out there being that of Sophia. Yeah, that's Sophia. And GBN, I'm her. But right now, I'm Sophie Kadami, your little sister who's getting ready to go to bed now. So you think you could? Ugh, fine. Thanks for nothing, sis. Saying, don't worry, I'll help you out afterwards. Like you said, you're just gonna get a feel for it. I can help you out tomorrow after school's done. With then saying, yeah, yeah, whatever. After closing her door, heading back into GBN and logging back in. With then soon, looking back at their captain, with saying, ah, Sophia's logging out as well. So it looks like it's gonna be only us. And with then soon, Brain saying, not quite. A few of our lesser members have also decided to help out too. However, that's only 10 of them, unfortunately. The others are already left or already have things to take care of. With then hearing that, soon Takumi saying, ah, that's a shame, but it can't be helped. Well, I think it's best that we get ready. With then soon heading to that of the galaxy map post, as it's the only place on um, for the leader of the team to select that of certain events for the team, for that of the team. With then soon going to that of the certain event, as it's saying, huh? With then soon Connor saying, what is it, Elijah? Saying, it's weird, it's just that the, the, the event mission, it says Battle of Seed. With then soon, guy saying, wait, Battle of Seed? You mean like, is it a Gundam Seed event? By any chance? Saying, could be. When Jesse's saying, okay, I'm actually excited for this one. Why don't we take it? I could go for a good seed mission with then Sue Takumi saying, I could use a little bit of nostalgia on seed. May not be my favorite Gundam series as a whole, but it does have the best Gundam slash Gunplus ever made. So why not? Take it up, Captain. Hearing the words of his vice captain, Elijah can help but smile saying, all right, it's settled. Finally, so basically pressing it through that of the, hol through that of the holographic screen saying, battle with seed commence. 
the Gundam Strike Force ready to launch. With then, after saying that, soon everything begins to, well, shake, or rather, things feel like they're about, they're glitching, actually. With then, suit, Rain's saying, what's going on? Is this some kind of bug in the system? With then, Hinoka saying, what? Captain, everybody, are you? With then, soon, Lysa saying, what's going? Before they realize it, everything went black for a little while. Before... Soon, in a split second, Elijah wakes up alongside everybody else as well. Within soon, Connor's saying, Okay, what just, what just happened? With then, soon, you guys saying, Uh, did I black out too? The heck happened? That's never happened before. With then, soon, Takumi's saying, This phenomenon, could it be similar to what... The build, what the second build fighter team went through? Did we get transported to somewhere else? With then, Rain saying, could be, but it makes no sense. If I recall, the system basically say that something like this shouldn't happen again, or rather we shouldn't have getting messages from basically otherworldly figures. With then soon, just saying, oh really? Well, tactical forecaster, well, did you guys to say? Seriously, it's weird knowing that a grown-ass man is in a child's body saying, Hey, I take offense to that. With then, soon, Elijah couldn't help but smile saying, Well, at least you know that all of you are still the same. With then, everybody looking at their captain. With soon, El something begins to appear right in front of Elijah as it being the galaxy map around in front and based in front of him. With then saying, what the hell is this? With soon, everybody else getting a good look at the galaxy map as well. With even a few of the mem- few of the, well, so- few of the other lesser members of the strike force coming from the elevator being the ten members who showed up. With one of them saying, uh, Captain, Vice Captain, Commanders, are you all okay? With one of them saying, what's going on? I've never- what's happening? With then, guy saying, calm down, you, you 10, calm down. Everything, well, we're starting to figure things out. With, and don't worry, nothing bad is with then Sue. Connor basically tapping on guy's shoulder, muscular shoulder, saying, uh, what is it, Connor? I'm trying to look at the galaxy map. With then Sue, instead of seeing the replica of, the, of that of the Mass Effect, well, Milky Way galaxy map, Instead, it shows that of the so of that of the well, gravitational solar solar system of Earth, but not just any Earth. It's the air. It's the Earth focused in that of the cosmic era of Gundam Seed, seeing that of multiple colonies, even that of massive hourglass colonies of the of the plants. With then soon, guy saying you're. That can't be real. It can it? With then soon, Al Takumi going up to that of Elijah, looking through that of the system, as saying everything is functional. This is supposed to be just that of a replica base of the mass of, of that of the SR Normandy in space, like how anybody else can basically buy that of a battleship from the Gundam series and use it as a base, like the Archangel, the Minerva. White base, even out of the Ptolemaios. And yet, this thing is basically saying that it's now functional and can be used with that soon. Just saying, that's, that's impossible. Are you saying that this whole thing, that this whole, well, base ship now is turned into an actual, an actual spaceship? Takumi, you can't with then soon. He, she looks at the, at the, at the, black skin young man saying, oh my God, you really are serious. With, and soon, Elijah going through that of the system saying, what the? Mission objective, take, protect the Archangel. It's escaped from Heliopolis right now. And currently the LaCroix team is starting to ch chase after it. Defeat the Aegis, Duel, Buster, and Blitz and protect the Strike and Archangel. Bonus, bonus objective, Complete. Find that of multiple 
space space shuttles, only ones that are ha that haven't been disabled. With then hearing that, suit so guy saying, "What the? So this really is the event? What was all that other bullshit that happened?" And with then soon, guy coming to realization saying, "Battle with in seed." Are you saying that this entire event is basically us going through that of the entire seed plotline? You gotta be kidding me! We could have done that through any other normal mission! What's so special about this shit? With Rain speaking up saying, I'm guessing what makes it special about it, Guy, is most likely is because we're all going to be involved in this. This isn't just your typical group battle mission, group team battle mission. This is some, this is an event, this is an exclusive event for us. Possibly, there's something more about this event. Best thing we could do, complete this mission and, and start it up. I'm gonna look around with then Hinoka saying, uh, I'll follow you too, Rain. With then the two begin to go through that of the bridge with then Jesse saying, uh, I'll keep an eye on them too. I think if we're gonna start this event off with a bang, I think our four best pilots should be the ones to take him on. With then looking back at the prime of the original four members, with then soon Elijah saying, "All right, uh, we'll do this. You guys ready?" With then soon, both uh, both Guy, Connor, and Takumi can help but smile, saying, "Yes, Captain." As they all head to the hangar, with then soon. Jesse couldn't help but look down with then looking back at the other saying, what are you all just standing here for? Get, go to, making sure, make sure that everything is all, is well and good. If you, some of you head to, head to the common room while some of you head to that of the engineering room. Even you, even some of you head to the hangar too with the, with that of our commanders. With then all of them saying, uh, yes, ma yes ma'am. With all of them soon scattering around. But then soon, Hinoka is basically going back to Jesse saying, Hey, Jesse, you might want to check this out. With then the, spike, the spiky blonde haired woman heading to the red haired Miko. With then Rain saying, Yeah, looks like the ship is ready to go. With then seeing that of the, pi that of the pilot seat. With then realizing, so... Looks like this ship isn't gonna move unless we have a pilot. With then realizing, huh, well, ain't that convenient. With then spinning the seat back before then speed heading up to it. With as soon as she bringing up her hands up, it actually being the control spears that you would see piloting a Gumpla. With then soon Rain saying, huh, should have figured as much. It would make sense that the way to control this thing wouldn't be the normal way that you would see in Mass Effect in the Mass Effect series, but possibly in the way in that of Mass Effect and that of Gumpla Battles. With then saying, I guess I'll be taking care of this. With then soon Hinaka saying, try not to do anything crazy, why don't you? Saying, <laughs> no promises. Now, let's see what let's see what kind of weapons does this thing got. Same as the Hope it's the same as it was in Mass Effect 2. Or at least we could probably add some other added weapons as well, hopefully. One main cannon isn't enough to take on basically entire battleships that can that have more, that have basically more than one weapon. With then Rain saying, try to think about the situation first before anything else. Saying, Roger that. With that, Suhinaka and Rain soon heading out, but then soon Rain saying, if I'm gonna be doing my duty as a tactical forecaster, then I better stay here on the bridge and give out orders to the captain and the others. Hinoka with her saying, already on a captain, heading to the hangar just in case they need me out there. With Rain smile saying, that's what I expect. With then soon heading down, heading to the elevator before smiling saying, oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll make sure that they come back safe, or rather, whatever the hell is going on in this event. With then soon, the d elevator door closes. Within rain, and instead of even though having that of an avatar's body, 
He's basically that of a 30 year old man who likes to play in that of Shota, in Shota characters after all, with then thinking, ah, all right, whatever the hell we've gotten ourselves into, hopefully we can get out of this properly and we can head back home as soon as possible. Just, pro I just promise that nothing bad happens to us or bad happened to our bodies. I remember, I remember the issues that they had back in, back with that of the second build diver team. One of their mem one of the members basically got, was put into a coma because his mind and body were separated at the time. Hope the same thing doesn't happen to us. And I really mean that. As his hands began to shake before it then soon slapping himself on the face on both cheeks saying, okay, let's do this. Let's see what we're up against. Looking through that at the map as the, sur as the surroundings begin to change. And then soon begin to see that of the Archangel, which is, pr which is primarily green right now. Before then noticing that there are definitely three, four other, there's definitely a ship on the edge. While all, while seeing that of three, uh, th four figures heading to the Archangel, saying, <laughs> "This is this. It's basically the same mission that the Arch that happened after the Heliopolis crisis. Kira basically getting his ass kicked, and Mu having to bail him out. It c due to this was literally his sec tr his first his second true official battle after all as a soldier. With then thinking, all right." If we're going to be take, if we're going to be taking the limelight as the tactical forecaster of the strike force, I can't let I can't go down, not without a fight. With then soon saying, Captain, Com Vice Captain, Commanders, you guys ready? With then soon Elijah in that of his cross strike Gundam saying, already on it, Rain. With then. Each and every one of them are also in their Gundams too. With then the first one up being that of Elijah saying, cross, this is Elijah, captain of the strike force. Cross strike, ready to go. With then soon the cross strike's eyes begin to glow before being launched flying out of the, out of the launch bay as this, as this Normandy was completely customizable and operated to that of a gu of what you would see for Gundams to pilot instead of just the usual and original hangar, but with but with spaces for Gundams after all. With then soon next up saying, "All right, let's do this. I don't plan on going down anytime soon. Hope this event doesn't bore me after all." As guy having that of a smile saying, "This is guy Zeno Strike, all ready to go." with then soon launching out as well. Next up being that of Connor with then saying, hopefully this isn't the same thing as what on the planet Mira. I don't want to go through that. Not, especially I don't want the others going through this too. With then control, clenching onto the holographic control spears and that of nervousness and fear before shaking his head saying, I can't. The others are counting on me, as one of the, as one of the few adults apart in the head that's in charge of the strike force. I need to, I need to take this seriously. Having that of a serious look on his face, with his ears pointed up, and that of seriousness actually, with him saying, "This is Connor, Storm Strike Gundam, launching into battle." With then soon, as the Golden Strike Mobile Suit also leaves that of the hangar as well while launching before transforming into its sparrow form. And last but not least, the last member of the strike force with then Takumi crossing his arms with then thinking, whatever this is, whatever we put, what we've been put in, whatever the hell this event even, even wants us to do, we'll complete it because that is what the strike force is. If anything that comes to harm to my friends, and if they plan on hurting them, they'll regret it, no matter what. As then, Sue, placing his hands on the control spears, with that, 
as he still has that of the bland look on his face. However, his eyes say it all. The eyes of somebody not wanting to know the truth and what's going on. Within saying, this is Takumi, Vice Captain of the Gundam Strike Force. Mission accepted. Double O Strike. Launching. As then, after saying that, soon was launched out before then the golden GN particles of the double strike soon emerges, sending him flying into battle. Within this to be the first task, the first start of a mission, a mission that would change the lives of each and every one of the of these young men and women forever. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Love to read them. So, as you guys like the first chapter, may start second chapter might come out in the next couple of days and another couple of days or so. So look out for that as well. Also, as for the other side characters in this story, they'll make an appearance, but not anytime soon, to be honest. Just gotta wait it out and see. As for currently, right now, yes, if you guys are wondering, just like in my other Gundam stories, yes. Our current main characters are in that of the and that's of the cosmic era of the Gundam Seed universe. However, unlike other my other stories, they actually have a choice to leave. They can actually want to leave at any time they want. However, doing so could cause could have that of everlasting consequences to be honest. So, yeah. As for those consequences, you always just got to wait and see. So at any rate, if you guys like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, hit that notification bell to keep up to date my videos when I upload on the channel. Also, please check out my Discord, my gaming channel, my mains channel, my Patreon, and Cash App. I'll link in the description below if I'm not too lazy to do so. So, with all that said, this is Yamuki, signing out. Later guys, and take care.